what will happen in Season 2, Episode 6 of The Mandalorian. I've got a couple of predictions. But first, make sure you subscribe and hit the notification bell so you know when the next video will be up and when I'm going to be playing Battlefront 2 again. Anyways, there's a couple things that I think could happen. First of all, this is the first episode where we really don't have much of a clue. Like, the last few episodes, there were hints dropped, there was leaks, there were things that we kind of knew or possibly knew. This is the first one in a while where it's like, I have no freaking clue. But I have some ideas based on how the story's gone so far. One of the ideas or thoughts that I have is, and I thought the sense before the season started was, I think there's going to be kind of a Moff Gideon episode. I really think that this show, this series is going to start to branch out and not necessarily rely 100% on Din Djarin. You know, last episode with the uh, beginning really focusing on Ahsoka kind of showed that. It was one of the bigger scenes that we've ever had where we didn't see the Mando. You know, what was it? A, at least a few minutes there that uh, it was just a, a character that, that for a lot of us, we were just meeting, though most of us, you know, probably watching this are probably really, really in love with. But um, yeah, they, they kind of went outside the box of what this series really has been. So having a Moff Gideon episode, having something focus on that, maybe with flashbacks uh, or him discussing his past with somebody else, I think is a very good possibility. I mean, we want to know. We want to know how he got the dark saber. We want to know how he became a moth, who he was during the actual empire. You know how he rose to prominence in the imperial remnant. I mean, just really, who the hell is Moff Gideon? And I think there's a chance that we find that out in this episode, and that maybe the episode ends with him tracking down Din Djarin and Grogu. You know, the possibility is that Din Djarin and Grogu are on their way to Typhon and Moff Gideon catches up to him and that there's some kind of battle there even though I don't know if I buy that yet because right now with it just being Din Djarin and the child uh, there's just no way that they're going to be able to protect themselves against Moff Gideon. So I'm not sure about this one. But that would also allow for Moff Gideon to tell his story to Din Djarin, maybe in some way. I'm not sure exactly how that would work. But like I said, I think that the Moff Gideon is going to let the audience know what he's all about. And maybe t telling Din Djarin is a way of doing that. Maybe he even needs to keep Din Djarin alive because he is able to figure out that Grogu's force powers are waning. And if he's going to utilize him the way he wants to, he needs to have that connection between him and Din Djarin. But a better option, I think, would be in some way that Moff Gideon finds Din Djarin is able to take Grogu away from him. Which, if that happens, that creates a great premise for the last two chapters of this season. So, the more and more I think about this, the more I think that that is actually the best way to go, and there's a good chance that that happens is that Moff Gideon finds Mando and Grogu. He's somehow able to separate them, is able to take the child away, and the last two chapters of this season are Din Djarin finding a way of getting Grogu back, which I think would probably be about the best that... Uh, it, it would probably be the best, most entertaining scenario that we could have. But those are a couple predictions I have. Make sure that you subscribe, hit the notification bell. Check out the links in the description below. It really helps out when you check out those Amazon links. Hit like on the video. Let me know in the comments what you think is going to happen in this next episode. It's already coming tomorrow, so we don't have much time to uh, wait to find out exactly what Chapter 14 is going to be about. May the Force be with you. Everybody have a great day.